Hello Rangers and welcome to Ranger Review YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be going over 10 fun facts about Clara Barton National Historic Site. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. Fact number one, Clara Barton National Historic Site is one of four National Historic Sites located in the great state of Maryland. Fact number two, Clara Barton dedicated her life and energies to help others in times of need, both at home and abroad, in peacetime as well as during military emergencies. Glen Echo was her home during the last 15 years of her life, and the structure illustrates her dedication and concern for those less fortunate than herself. Fact number three, Clarissa Harlow Barton was born in North Oxford, Massachusetts, the youngest of Stephen and Sarah Stone Barton's five children. Clara Barton gained an education from local schools throughout home tutoring and from her older brothers and sisters. Noted English phrenologist Ellen Fowler advised Clara Barton's parents to have her teach at schools. Fact number four, Clara Barton established the first free public school in Bordentown, New Jersey. Enrollment grew rapidly and a male principal was hired. Miss Barton left Bordentown and the teaching profession for good. Fact number five, in 1854, Clara Barton moved to Washington, D.C. and worked as a recording clerk at the U.S. Patent Office for Charles Mason, the Commissioner of Patents. Her salary at the time was $1,400 per annum, equal to those of the men that she worked with. Fact number six, in 1861, the Battle of First Manassas, or Bull Run, was happening in Virginia. Miss Barton tended to wounded soldiers as they arrived to Washington, D.C. She established a distribution agency after receiving additional supplies sent in response to an advertisement in the Worcester Spy newspaper. Fact number seven, in 1862, the Battle of Cedar Mountain, or Culpeper in Virginia, this was the first documented battle at which Clara Barton served in the field. Arriving on August 13th, she spent two nights and two days tending to the wounded. Before leaving, she provided assistance at the field for Confederate prisoners. Fact number eight, at the Battle of Antietam in Maryland, Miss Barton and her wagon arrived on the field with the Army of the Potomac River prior to the battle. She provided surgeons with desperately needed medical supplies. And during the battle, she was nearly killed by a bullet that passed through the sleeve of her dress, killing the man in which she was attending. Although lacking medical training, at the insistence of a wounded soldier, she extracted a bullet from his cheek using her pocket knife. Working for several days following the conflict, Miss Barton was then weakened by typhoid fever. Fact number nine, Clara Barton met Francis D. Gage, and together they worked to educate former slaves to prepare for their new life beyond slavery. Clara Barton here developed an interest in the growing movement for equal rights for women and African Americans. Fact number 10, while in Europe, Miss Clara Barton met and established a lifelong friendship with Duchess Louise of Baden, daughter of Kaiser Wilhelm I. Under the sponsorship of the Grand Duchess and the International Red Cross, Miss Barton left for the besieged city of Strasbourg, France. Once back in the USA, Miss Barton concentrated on educating the public and garnering support for an American Red Cross society. She wrote and distributed a pamphlet, The Red Cross of the Geneva Convention, What It Is, and she met with President Rutherford B. Hayes to inform him about the Red Cross and enlisted the aid of friends to help publicize the organization. Well, everybody, that's the end in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below with your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Also, be sure to click that red subscribe button and we'll be on next up to always when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching again, and I shall see you next video. Bye!